You're looking, uh, as you say, you're working in adult ALL, you're looking at um, something called MRD-positive B-cell precursor ALL, and in particular, you've been using blinatumumab. Now, can you tell me about that agent and why you were looking at this category of ALL? Okay, uh, ALL uh, patients are usually treated with intensive chemotherapy and in most of the patients who achieve a so-called complete remission. That means that uh, no blast cells are detectable in the bone marrow by uh, microscopy. But there are new methods to detect the disease below, below this cut level, uh, up to a level of 0.01%, and this is called MRD. This sounds uh, as if it's not a problem, but uh, it is a problem because patients may remaining MRD positive have a high risk to relapse. They are refractory to the chemotherapy and have a high re relapse risk. Right, so what did you do with blinatumumab? Could you describe your study to me? We couldn't, we could, if you just continue with chemotherapy, the patient will relapse. So what we did is using blinatumumab, and blinatumumab is a, has a different mechanism of action. It's a B-specific antibody, uh, and uh, it attracts T-cells uh, of the body uh, with one portion and brings them to the CD19-positive uh, B-cell, so the leukemia cells. And if the T-cells get very close to the target cells, they start to proliferate, they get activated, and they kill the target cells. Uh, and they can detach and uh, look for another target cell, and therefore it's sometimes called serial killing. Yeah? So the bispecific nature of this antibody made it more effective, in fact? Actually, uh, it is a, it's a ter therapy which activates the immune system of the body. So you need T-cells in the body. The, the bite just brings the T-cells to the target cells. This is actually the treatment. The T-cells make the treatment. What happened, in fact, in your study? What did you find? So we found uh, that uh, approximately 80% of the patients with this MRD, positive resistant disease, developed a, a complete MRD response, so no longer MRD was detectable after only four weeks of treatment with the blinatumumab. Yeah. So it really cleared the disease out? Yes, yes. At least up to the, down to a certain detection level. What impact did that have clinically? So. Uh, the impact is that, first of all, we can uh, um, avoid a full hematologic relapse and the patients are in a good shape. And then many of them uh, proceeded to stem cell transplantation as their final therapy. Some patients did not receive a transplant and they continued with map maximum three cycles. And uh, so we have these both groups. And what in terms of the numbers, in terms of uh, relapse-free survival and the duration of remission, what did you get? So the overall survival, I think this is the most important outcome, is uh, uh, above 50%. Uh, the median overall survival is 36 months, and this is a big improvement. If you treat the same population in full relapse, the median survival is six months. And uh, this is really a big progress. Um, and also uh, the median remission duration and relapse free survival was uh, 18 months and more. Right, now there are two factors here. You are monitoring MRD and you are using blinatumumab. What is the clinical advice coming out of this study? The advice is that you should identify the patients with MRD-positive ALL and treat them before they develop a relapse, and blinatumumab is a very efficient drug to do so. Is that going to become a standard, do you think? Uh, certainly, I, um, MRD positivity is the most relevant prognostic factor in ALL and more and more people understand that you need to act on this. And blinatumumab is a drug where we have most experience now due to this study. Uh, maybe in the future further drugs come up, but now for B-precursor ALL, this is the most, the data where we have most data. So to sum up, what are the practical messages that doctors should take out of this? Every doctor should measure MRD in, in the ALL patient and if after a certain time period of chemotherapy the MRD stays positive, the, they should look for adequate treatment and in B-procurator ALL, blinatumumab is a good way to treat.